Uh, great. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm the subject librarian in National Taiwan University Library. Uh, I'm Ying Fang. And uh, we will have 60 minutes to learn and practice for entity today. Uh, if there is something uh, you don't understand in class, uh, please feel free to let me know anytime. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn uh, in part one uh, why you should cite and how to cite in academic writing. And from part two to part three, we will learn how to set up EndNote desktop software and uh, create an EndNote library for adding references in. And when in uh, part four, uh, we will Oh, sorry, <laughs> we will learn how to manage your library and organize your references. And in part five, we will learn how to export your references to be the citations and bibliography list in your Word document. Uh, this function is cite while you write. Okay, let's start from part one. Why should we need the references and citations in academic writing? What is referencing? Uh, referencing is an acknowledgement of the sources of the information, ideas, thoughts, and data which you have used in your work. And referencing requires you to acknowledge your sources in two places. One is in the main body of your text by citing. In text citation, uh, it is inserted in the text directly after the information being sourced from the scientific literature and the marking in your writing when you are using another person's words uh, to or referring to another person's idea. And the other is in the bibliography or list of references at the end of your work. Uh, it, it appears at the end of the work and contains sufficient information of the source. All citations in the body of your writing must match up with the four references in your final references list. So accurate references uh, is one of the characteristic aspects of academic writing. Make sure that you correctly reference all the sources for the information you have included in your work. And the ideas that you refer to need to be made explicit by a system of citation. The bibliography should include details for everything that you cite in your work. So why references? Referencing your work can help you to demonstrate that you have researched or read around the subject which you are writing about and uh, provide evidence for your arguments and allow any reader of your work to find the original sources you used. And uh, it's very important, avoid plagiarism. Besides this, citing is also a foundation pillar of scientific communication and uh, they enable the readers of your work to easily locate the references. They show what kind of background literature you have read, and also they show how well you have understood the topic of your thesis. Okay, so as I mentioned before, in an academic paper, there are two components to references. Uh, first is in-text case citation. The other is bibliographic references. Uh, there are two systems to present citation and bibliography in scientific writing. One is number references system. References are identified by number order. And the other uh, I will mention later uh, is name year references system. References are identified by the name of the author and the year of publication. And this is, uh, as you see, number references system. In a number references system, a number is added in parentheses and uh, all square brackets in the appropriate place in the text. 
starting the numbering from one. And list, listing the details of all these references at the end of your document. This must include the information that your reader will need to easily find each word you are referring to. In the number reference system, the bibliography of the work is arranged by the order in which the citation appear in the text. And what kind of style is the number reference system, such as Vancouver style? As you see, references are identified by numbers. The bibliography of the work is arranged by the order in which the citation appear in the text. Let me introduce um, the other system, name year references system. In name year references, the uh, in-text citation include uh, the author's surname and uh, the publication year. The bibliography should be in alphabetical order by author. The most complete name year system is APA style. In text citation, includes author's name and publication year. And the bibliography references order is by author's name from A to Z. Okay. This is about the system of uh, citation and bibliography. So let's start to learn how to use EndNote 19. 19. The version is 19. EndNote is software that enables you to store and manage references and use these to uh, format citations and bibliographies in documents in many different styles. So uh, it has the features to keep all your references and references related material in a searchable, in a searchable personal library and manage these references with personal groups and use these references in word processing documents to create formatted citations and bibliographies or independent reference lists. Okay, so uh, we have sent you an email for the participants, right? So you can download and the software and set up and note 19 before. Have you set up yet? So if you haven't set up yet, you can link to this post. From NTU Library References Service Blog to follow the quick start guide, so EndNote. So let's start to creating a library. After setting up successfully, starting to create an EndNote library. Create a uh, library means creating the whole new file in EndNote. And how to create an EndNote library? Let me show you. Run the start of your laptop OS. Open EndNote and choose File and New. As you see, give the library a name and use Test. And choose the location you want to set. Usually, it would be your uh, computer desktop. And then press Set. Now, you have already created an annual to library successfully. Let's back to the PowerPoint. When a new library is created, there will be an annual to library, this one, ENL, and the associated data folder, which is part of the library and it contains PDF graphics, images, tables, and so on. 
at least two parts must always be kept together. Okay? And a library can contain a lot of references. There is no size minute. So if you want to back up, move or share a library, you must remember both files or you may lose data. So we can use this function, compress library. And uh, if you want to keep these two files together, you can use this compress library. Choose file and uh, the compress library. And create a next. The ENL format file will be created. It has zipped them together. Okay. And if you are Apple computer, okay, uh, using Android on the Mac, you have an options for saving a library as an .enlp file. Yeah. Click this. Save as package. So now, if you could, maybe you can create your own library. Is that okay? Let's go on. Okay, let's go on collecting references. There are several ways to get data into your EndNote library. One is import. Import directly from online databases and import PDF files. And the other is enter manu manually. You can add the references manually. About the import direct directly, uh, it is the most convenient way uh, to import the bibliography records. You can export bibliography records from a database, uh, such as EBSCO, Google Scholar, uh, Scopus, Web of Science, or Permit. So let me demo how to export bibliography records from Web of Science into an Nota library first. So follow me the steps. Let's back to the NTU library website. Switch to English version. Use uh, choose the database tape and use Web of Science. I use the abbreviation WOS. Uh, search for the database. As you see, uh, Web of Science is here. And click it. Now we enter. Uh, now we enter the Web of Science search page, and I use food technology as keyword. Or topic search. And in the search results, you can, you can uh, sort this resource by time cited. In this case, I pick one, two, three bibliographic records and choose the export button. And, uh, and then choose the EndNote desktop. In the record contents, maybe we can choose the full record and cited references and press export. As you see, uh, here is a .ciw format files uh, be downloaded and I click it two times. The records are imported directly. Let's try another database, PAMI. PAMI 
Okay, it's a medicine and life science database. And we can also use the same keywords. Search. And in this case, I also choose uh, pick one, two, three bibliography records. Now I choose this function send to and choose citation manager and create file. Yeah, and there is the NBIB format files downloaded. Click it times. It also was. It also has been imported automatically. Now we have six regs in this library. Okay, let's try the last demo. We use Google Scholar. And uh, before you searching on Google Scholar, please. Uh, go into the settings and in these bibliography managers you can uh, pick show links to import citation into EndNote and then save. Okay, back to Google Scholar we use the same keywords And search. As you see, in every resource raker, uh, you can see import into EndNote function and uh, click this link. The, the raker file will be downloaded and uh, click this file. It also can be imported uh, automatically. So it's very convenient to uh, collect the references from different databases by this function. I'm also a subject library and new library. My name is Qian Lu. Uh, I will introduce the other two ways to import reference into NO library and some function of NO to manage your reference or site in Word documents. Usually, we can easily import the reference automatically from a database as in, uh, in found introduced. However, sometimes you might need to key in or correct the reference by yourselves. So you also need to know how to enter manually. Just choose, uh, we go back to the PowerPoint to tell you how to enter manually. Okay, it's really easy. Just click on the uh, new reference here in the reference drop down list. And then you will see a window here. It will display lots of the field here for you to fill in. And please remember, before you uh, start to key in any information here, just uh, just check if you are select the right reference type here. If you uh, if you select a right reference type, it will display the suitable fit, uh, field for you to fill in. Okay, uh, this figure shows the example uh, of uh, how to describing, uh, describe a, a journal article. There are some principles to, uh, to key in the uh, reference. Uh, like the format of author, you should uh, key in the last name and the comma and the space and then first name. And if there are more than one authors, you should type each author on new line. So just finish the first author and then press enter on your keyboard. And then next, uh, go to the next line. You can see there is a, uh, another line for keying the second author. And then except for 
importing reference from a database of enter manually. Sometimes we got the PDF for text file at first. So that's a function for import PDF by identifying a DOI on the file. What's a DOI? DOI is the abbreviation of Digital Object Identifier, acting as the ID of article, like a, a ID number of a person or like a ISBN for a book. So how could you do to import PDF? Let me demo for you. Let's go to the EndNote library here. And uh, actually, we need to uh, take a new, we need to have a PDF file at first. So we can go to like a PubMed or Web of Science, some database to find out a uh, full text. Like we can click on uh, this, uh, this article to see the, deta the detail here. And we can see the full text things is right there. So just click on it. And then you can see the PDF file. Where, like, we can download PDF here. So now, just download it into your desktop. And then we can go to the Anno library. And you can click on the file and choose import and choose a file. And here we choose the PDF we just downloaded. And then the import option, remember, select the PDF. Okay, click on import. You can see this is the reference of this PDF file and the PDF full text is right there attached on this reference record. And you can see there are two options here. The folder means that you can import many PDF files in a, a folder at one time. So if you want to use this function, you can choose a folder and choose that the folder uh, you saved uh, your PDF file like this. I saved two PDF files in this folder. So Choose it and then choose the PDF and then click on the import. You will see two reference successfully add in to this library. So there are two reference and uh, it's the full text file for it. And then if, if you want to read the PDF file, you can click on this icon to open the PDF. And then you can try to highlight some content or add some notes. And then if you uh, finish uh, reading it, you can close this window. It, it will ask you to save it. You can click on yes. And then you can see your highlight or notice in this PDF file. OK, let's go back to the PDF. And here is some homework, and uh, if you are uh, convenient, now you can uh, try to practice importing reference from Web of Science and Google Scholar. Uh, if you have any problem to practice, you uh, just feel free to raise your hand. Okay, let's move on. And then uh, we will start the uh, the part four. Uh, I will tell you some uh, kind of function to manage your reference in the library. Uh, after importing lots of ref reference in the annual library, you might need to manage, classify them, or attach your PDF files. Let me show some useful function for you. Uh, while import reference from multiple resources, there are might be uh, some duplicates in your library. And now let you set the criteria to detect the duplicates automatically and the default criteria are reference type, author, year, and title. Or you can apply the uh, find duplicates function by selecting on the find duplicate options in the reference drop down list here. To modify the, uh, if you need to modify the criteria, please click on the edit tape here 
and then select the duplicate on left panel of window, tick the checkbox in front of the field you prefer to be the prior, prior, uh, priority. But the default criteria is rarely enough. So by default, if there are two references with the same title, authors, year, and type, Anna will open a fine duplicate windows like this. Uh, you can copy and paste or correct each record directly for each set of duplicates. You have the option to uh, just uh, keep one record. You can uh, click on the keep this record uh, uh, on it, uh, right there or click on a skip, leave the two records. Okay, let's demo how to find duplicates again. We can go to the NO library. Uh, I have a 13 a reference here and I like to find duplicates. Okay, now it finds out two duplicates and this is the first set. So you can edit any information on it or just a, a copy the information here and paste it on here. And, oh, and finally you can choose one record to keep. So now I would like to keep this record. Okay, so you delete the duplicate one and just leave one record. Okay, and the second, second function I would like to introduce for you is groups. First, make it easy to arrange and organize a large library into subsets. You can create groups and rename them at any time by following the steps shown in the figures. There are two ways. The first way is uh, right-click the mouse on the My Group here and then choose Create Group. You can see the new group is uh, right, uh, right on here and then you can give it a name to finish, uh, the, uh, to finish creating the group. Or you can click on the create group set or create group on the group drop down this here. And also you can see the new group is right there. You can give, give it a name. And then how could you set re reference in a group? It's so easy, just drag as you do in e a Gmail or any email account. Select the reference and uh, drag to the group you'd like to add them. Or you can also follow the step here, just uh, select the reference and then right click the mouse here. And then you can see a drop down list, choose the eight reference too. And then you can see the group you just added here and choose the one you'd like to save this reference. Okay, now I also create some group that you know. Just right click the mouse here and the create group. Okay, and give it a name like, like that. And then also create another group here. Now I can drag some bibliography to this group or just uh, choose a bibliography and right click the mouse and then choose add reference to. Here is my group list. Uh, you can try to uh, find a, a group for it. And you can see uh, these two groups also uh, have one reference in it. Okay, the last function is also the most important function. It, it's really amazing, but you, uh, you need to use it really carefully. Uh, now, uh, we have lots of uh, reference in our library, right? Uh, but we don't have both text PDF files for reading. How could you do? Actually, there is an automatically find full text function in EndNote. Before activate the function, please remember that uh, if you are outside of a campus, please use the uh, VPN service. Uh, to find full text, please follow my steps. The first 
one uh, and you can select the reference you like to uh, file for text and then right click on your mouse you can see there is an option called file for text and you need to click two times file for text file for text and uh, it, as its search processing status is displayed on the left panel of library window, the PDF bound will be attached to reference uh, uh, relevant reference. So you can see this uh, figure. Uh, there are uh, one reference uh, attached uh, PDF file here, and you can see a PDF file is right there, and you can read here. And there are seven other reference can find the PDF file. So you need to try to find the full text by yourself. And file full text function seems really useful, right? However, please do not download PDF illegally. Uh, what kind of behavior would be illegal, like select over 100 articles for file full text at a time? Please don't do that. Besides, don't apply any web crawler to download files in the uh, database automatically. And the company of database always detect if there is any unusual behavior on their website. Once the behavior up happens, the usage permission of until members to use database might be blocked. So you will impact the whole members in NTU, including teachers, faculty, or students. So just don't do that. Be careful. Okay, now I also like to show you how to find full text. Okay, I have a 12 reference here and I can choose it, choose it all. And then right click uh, the my mouse and then find the file full tag option here and then file full text. It, it is searching right now and here is the status. And uh, we need to uh, wait for processing. So if you are using the EndNote, you can practice uh, with us. And find full text for your record. So please uh, practice finding full text for the reference. If you have, have any problem, just raise your okay. hand. So you can see now uh, there are five reference can file a PDF. And right one reference success, successfully find the PDF file. And it uh, will attach the PDF file automatically like this. Okay, we can find there are one reference just from the URL. It means that uh, it might be have a full text, but it can download automatically. So you can try to uh, link to the URL to find the, uh, the PDF file. So uh, you can click on this reference and then also right click your mouse and then click on URL and open URL link. It will connect to the NTU library, this uh, same system, to find if there is any uh, full text for you to download. Okay. Yes, we find the PDF, get a PDF. And then you can download this PDF file by yourself and attach um, the reference in Endnote. How to attach? You can click on this icon and choose the PDF file to attach it. Okay. Let's move on to the last part. It's side while you write. Um, 
uh, it's kind of a tour for you to cite the reference in ANO library into your Word document. Okay. At the first, please check if uh, CWYW site where we write tape is right there, uh, named ANO uh, 19, and ANO 19 is right there in ribbon. If not, here is some method to repair for Windows version and it's for Mac version. Okay, if you are ready, now we are uh, ready for citing. There are two methods to add citation to your Word document. The first way starts from Anno Library window. Uh, first, uh, you can go to the Anno Library and select the reference you like to cite, and then go back to Word documents. Click on the place you like to insert a citation and then click on the insert citation button here there will be a list please select the insert selected citation finish these steps you can see the in-text citation and the bibliography record a reference list is right there in your document okay and the second way is start from the word you can open your Word document and click on the Insert Citation button here, and then you can see the option Insert Citation. Just click it, you can see a window, and it will display a list of all of the citations you have added into the Word. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I left some mistakes. You can see the uh, kind of window and you need to key in some keywords to find out the citation you need to add, add it into the word. So you can key in like the name of the author or the a keyword in the title or the a publishing year and so on. And you just key in and then you can see the search results here and uh, select the one you need to insert and then click on the insert button. So you can also see the index citation here and the bibliographic re reference list will be on the end of your uh, Word document. Okay, now I'll show you how to uh, how to insert citation into Word. Just open your Word document. Sorry. And there is a paragraph of, of a journal article and I like to insert a citation right there. And now I can go back to Anno Library and select two citations. And then open a word and uh, click on here and open the Anno 19 tape and click on the insert citation and the insert selected citations. So you can see the in-text citation is there and the three and four uh, reference information are there. Okay, let's go back to PowerPoint. Uh, after adding citations, you might need to delete correct change the format of them. Please do not do so as you're supposed to do in Microsoft Word, like uh, press a delete button on your keyboard. Don't do that. And now has its own function. So here is the first function is for uh, changing the style. Just uh, select your preferred style from a drop-down style list right there. Click on the bar and then you can see the list. If style you need is not on the list, please select the select another, another style option. And you can see here is uh, another two, uh, other two, uh, 7,035 kinds of style ready for use here. After select the, selecting the style, you can see the uh, format and the sort and the uh, how to display the, uh, your citation is changed. So his, his is the, this is the APA 7 and 
this is the Vancouver style. And now you can try to select a style you prefer, like uh, APA. Uh, this is the APA style. You can see the in-text citation is uh, including uh, author name and the publication year. Okay, next next one uh, is a dating reference you cited. At first, you must need to find a date and manage citation button here. It's right here in the citation groups. Click on the button, uh, there will be a window listing all of the citation in the document will, um, in a document you have been cited. And then you might add the wrong reference. It's the safest method for removing a reference from a document to click on remove citation here. Uh, you can choose a uh, click on the reference you like to remove and then click on the reverse triangle here just right uh, on the right side of AD reference button. Please uh, make sure you are clicked on the reverse uh, triangle and you can see a list here and click on the remove citation. And then sometimes you need to correct or add some information or reference. Please remember, don't directly edit them. The changes will be lost when the end node next updates them. But how to edit? You might be confused about the difference from the edit reference button here and the reverse triangle here. You can click on AD reference button to open the EndNote library window of this record. And then you can correct the uh, EndNote, uh, the reference information in EndNote and then save in the EndNote. Next, you need to tell the CWYW update that reference to the latest version, right? So go back to the edit and manage citation window here. Click on the reverse triangle to select update from my library. Finally, click on the uh, click on the insert button and the OK button. You can see the uh, uh, your uh, this reference will be updated. Okay, I try to demo it for you. If I like to uh, correct some uh, reference here, I click on edit and manage citation button here. And here is a list uh, of uh, all of the citation in this manuscript. And I choose uh, this one and click on edit reference. So here is a end library window, right? And now I like to change the, to correct the title here. I like to add S devices here. And then just close the window. It will ask you to uh, save it. Just click on yes. Okay, we can go back to uh, Word and then click on the update from my library here. It will find out there are uh, two different versions of this reference and uh, choose the, uh, the latest one you have just uh, updates. And then click on insert, OK. So now we can see the difference. Uh, I can find it. <laughs> okay, it will, it will be different, right? Okay, the title will be uh, plus S. Okay, it's okay. And then we can go back to the PowerPoint. Do you guys have any question or have any problem to use the note? Can you tell us? If it, everything is okay, I'll move on. It's okay? It's okay. Yeah. No, it will update automatically. But if you want to correct, you need to update uh, by yourself.
And uh, if uh, you have uh, more than one reference need to be corrected, uh, actually you can go back to NO library and correct all of them at one time. And go back to Word and click on this update citation and the bibliography. It will uh, 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 correct all of the reference you just update. You don't need to one you, by one. But you don't need to do that one by one. Okay, let's move on to the last steps, and it's also the most important stage. Don't forget it. You need to convert to plain text. Why? Uh, it's a little complicated to tell you uh, why you should do that, but just listen carefully. I will uh, uh, introduce for you. A CWYW tool communicates the NO library and the NO document with field code to display the in-text citation and the bibliography reference in your manuscript. The field code can normally work only of uh, only if both of the uh, NO library file and Word document file safe in your computer. So because of, because of that, if you send manuscript with field code to others, they can read the citation without your NO library file. Therefore, you should remove the field code by convert to plain text function. However, after removing the field code, you can't edit and manage the reference you cited in the manuscript anymore. So once you activate this function, it will save a copy without field code and reserve the original one for editing in the future. So how to convert to plain text? Uh, the steps is uh, in the uh, Mac version and the uh, Windows version is different. It, it, this one is for Windows version. You can find the convert citation and bibliography are, uh, button here and then click on convert to plain text. And for Mac version, please click on tools button and then there is also an option here, convert to plain text. Okay, again, I like to demo for you. Here is my manuscript and I uh, try to send my, uh, my journal article or some kind of your thesis to your teacher. And your teacher uh, uh, don't have your library, right? So you need to give it a plain text version. So now click on the convert citation in the bibliography and uh, Click on convert to plain text. This tell you it will uh, save another copy of the plain text version. Now we don't have any field code here. How did you? How do you know? Uh, there is no field code. You can add, uh, click on this add and manage citation. It will tell you document does not contain any editable citation. That means that there they are. All of them are plain text. Okay, uh, there is some practice. Just uh, can you can go home to practice it or practice it right now. If you have any question, tell us. And then it's near the end of our class. Uh, there are some other learning resources for you, like the official manual uh, from the Collaborate Analytics, which is the uh, company of EndNote. Uh, this manual is in English, and uh, if you are uh, you you uh, feel uh, feel okay to uh, read the Chinese, you can uh, uh, you can read the anti library reference block here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, article about EndNote. And if you need more references in English, please refer to this article. And about the course material of this class, uh, you can download this PP PowerPoint by scanning this QR code. And if you need to listen this class again or share with your friends, video will be uploaded in NTU eLearning website two weeks later. Please scan the QR code to get hyperlink of this website.
So that would that uh, that hand side is the uh, you can download the power box. Uh, we provide lots of hyperlink in this PowerPoint, so you can download it and use it uh, for the very convenient. You can download the PowerPoint, PowerPoint first. Okay. And uh, the video just for link to the e-learning website. And you need to find the video uh, two weeks later. Yes. Yeah. There is content. Okay. Yeah. So it's the end of our annual course. If you have any question to apply and know, we are avail avail available to consult with you. Just make the appointment one week in advance. Please scan the QR code, fill in the application form, and tell us problem you face. Thank you for, li for your listening. Thank you. Oh, you need to uh, let me demo for you. Uh, if you can find a book in the uh, library website, right, uh, you can choose the catalog or discovery tab here and find a book like uh, And here is a book, right? If you want to sign this book, you can click on the button here and note. And then click on download. You will have a RIS format file. And just click on it. It will add it to the EndNote library automatically. Or if you like to uh, enter, man enter manually, you can click on reference and the new reference. And remember to choose the reference type here to choose the book. There will be a, a field for uh, describing a book. Yeah.